Welcome to Toggle.io. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the payload parser. We'll start by adding a custom HTTPS device. If I send this payload with a variable named temperature, it will actually create a temperature variable and add it to our bucket. Checking the bucket, we can see that the temperature variable has been added. I will use this variable later. I'm going to base the script that I write off of the payload parser example that can be found in the help center. Here we'll edit our variable in value. Next we will enable the payload parser and replace the existing script with our own script. Essentially what our script is doing is finding the package that was sent and it's saying if the package was sent then assign these values to it based on the spacing. So our success code will be the first value before space which is the 1 0 and our second value will be the temperature which is 50 and our third value will be the error code which is 0 0 and those values are then pushed to our bucket. So we'll save that script and then resend our emulation. And if we recent the emulation with the light inspector on, we'll be able to see that it was parsed correctly. One thing we can use to debug our parser script is console.log. So here we can say console.log and then add a string and add one of our variables. In this case, we'll use tempf, and the value of that should be 50. If we look in Live Inspector, we can see that the message is displayed and the value is correct. We can also add actions based on our parser script. So here we'll add a temperature alert that sends an email if the temperature of our device surpasses 40 degrees Celsius. After creating the action, we can select the device for the action, and then select the variable and value for which the action is triggered. The variable that triggers our action is actually the temperature, which is not being sent in the package. But if we assign temperature to temp f in our parser script, its value will be updated to 50 when we run the script. If I resend that data, I will receive a notification alerting me to the fact that the temperature has exceeded the boundary value I sent for it. For more information, you can visit our website and access the documentation. Thank you for watching.